It's that time of month again. Bam! Right, that was a bit too close. But hello, what's going on, guys? This is Panic Pixel. You can call me Cookie. And today we are going to be unboxing the October 2015 Nerd Block. This video is a bit late, considering Nerd Block takes a while to get to Hong Kong, and uh, this got held at the post office for a little bit because of a public holiday, and I got busy. So this unboxing video is a bit late, but here we are. Um, October Nerd Block. Uh, the theme is Trick or Treat. Uh, from what they said in the last card thing, they there's supposed to be two vinyl figures. From the Facebook page, they also showed what the t-shirt is like. Uh, I'm not going to spoil it for you guys, but I know what it looks like. Uh, I also know, I actually know what's what's in this thing because I, I, I kind of spoiled myself. But I won't spoil anything for you. Uh, we're going to quickly go into this now. Uh, this box came in in alright condition and there's a bit of a shaky shaky noise that you can get from it. Uh, so they didn't really pack it that tight. I'm not sure if it's like completely full or not. Oh, full or not. Uh, we're gonna quickly open this up. I say as I again cl open it very slowly. Uh, here. Okay, so we have it open. We're gonna open it up. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba. Geek tested, nerd approved. Oh, that, that paint came off. All right, so this box isn't as packed as the previous box. We're going to get the shirt out first because the shirt is uh, supposed to be pretty cool. This is a shirt that references the movie The Gremlins from the 1980s or something. I think I've seen it a couple of times on television, but I, I didn't watch the whole thing because I'm not a big horror person. I don't think I, I'll like the October block because of horror. I don't like horror, but eh. it's a glow-in-the-dark shirt. Uh, another design comes out in the dark. I don't want to do that right now because I'm kind of scared. Uh, this one's actually pretty well made, I think. The the uh, I think the quality of the cotton is different. Uh, it's it's still by Shirt Punch, but yes, I, this is pretty cool. I'm probably gonna wear it on Halloween night, even though uh, it'll probably freak me out. So let's uh, quickly look at the two vinyl figures that come with it. Let's open it. Oh, well, the the alien is slightly like. He, he's not in place. Are you okay there, bruh? So it's a Titan vinyl figure. I've never gotten one of these. And I don't actually watch Alien. Again, I'm, I'm not a horror person. Uh, what other characters can we get here? Ripley, Big Chap. I don't know any of these characters. But it seems like they're well made. I don't really like the, the design of them. They're a bit <sighs> weird. <laughs> They're chibi. Like, people are really into chibi characters nowadays, and I kind of understand them, but this doesn't look that cute. They look kind of scary and creepy. I think, like, generations in the future will look at, like, this kind of stuff that we are into and just be like, what the heck were these people doing? Next in the box, we have a coaster with, oh, what's his name again? I forgot. Mo. Most Tavern. Oh, his name's right there. Wow. Look at me not reading. Put your mug on my mug. <laughs> I don't know where where well where I'll use this. I have a lot of coasters. Uh, maybe I'll just like post it on the wall of my room. Most Tavern. I think that's that's cute. Uh, Simpsons hasn't been that great recently either, huh? Their their jokes have been getting stale. But then that's what happens when you've been ha when you've had a show for. Ages. I realized I didn't read the front of the box before I started this. But anyway, that, that makes things more surprising. Uh, here we have the Zombie Hunter official issued dog tags. Oh, now I can pretend I'm a zombie hunter. Oh, what I have always dreamed of. Designed and manufactured by Classified Novelties, a brand of Fourth Castle. Uh, this was made in New York. Made in... No, it's... Distributed from New York. It's made in China. Not intended for children under three. It's in Zhongshan City, Guangdong Province. That's actually pretty close to me. <laughs> wow, it traveled to the to the Canada. 
in order to go back to China. Here is what it looks like in the box. Let's ah, the quality of this is pretty good. Uh, it's a bit scratched. Uh, that's, that's fine. Shoot them in the head, and they'll stay dead. Um, depends on the zombies. <laughs> Zero. Z-E-R-O. Zombie Emergency Response Operations. Yes. That... Alright. Well, I guess I can wear this, uh, once in a while, but I do have, like, skin problems, as you can see on my hand right now. I have... I... Okay. That... It's cool, just that I can't really use it. <laughs> we'll just leave it there. Okay, next thing in the box is, uh, Bob's Burgers Mad Libs. I don't watch Bob's Burgers. I've watched a couple of episodes, but then I just kind of got bored of it. So I found it a bit pointless. I watch people like flame at me for this. Mad Libs Instructions. Mad Libs is a game for people who don't like games. It can be played by 1, 2, 3, 4, or 40. Nice counting. Ridiculously simple instructions. In this tablet, you will find stories containing blank spaces where the words are left out. Uh, one player, the reader, selects one of these stories. The reader does not tell anyone what the story is about. Instead, she... Okay. Alright, that's cool. I think I can play this with some of my friends, assuming that they're up for it. Yeah. Bob's Burgers. And, uh, last thing in the box is... What is this? Gem and the Holograms. Uh, I've never watched this show before. This is supposed to be a remake or something, and they're they're starting a new series, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, can I actually open this? Uh, let's let us let us let us open it for you guys. Okay, let's let's look at the the art inside. You're saying you can't get us any movies? Of course, Jarek. Uh, truly, truly outrageous, the concert is over, Gem and the Holograms are a sensation, now it's time to relax. As Jerrica, Kimber, uh, argue about the movie, watch their imagination, run, run, uh, uh, written by Kelly Thompson, okay. Doesn't really talk about what these people are. Monsters, the people who imagine things, why do they have funky hair? Uh, I'm not too fond of the art style. Uh, I mean, it's okay. I don't think I'll be that interested in the story. It looks like some kind of like teen, teen kind of thing. Eh, uh, yeah. Ah, all right. Let's get to the cards that are in the box. Okay, we have actually like three different cards now. Okay, let's look at the card that tells us what's in it. We had a Bob Burgers Mad Libs. When you're treating your friends to a Halloween bash, there's always room for the world's greatest word game. There's always room for butts, which can, of course, fill out several of the blanks here with hilarious results. Exclusive Gem and the Holograms Outrageous Annual 1. Gem and the Holograms is one of the best comic reboots out there, and we're thrilled to bring you this nerd block exclusive treat of a cover for its very first annual pack first annual packed with stories from several talented writers and artists uh not as interesting as the mad libs thing but like even the mad libs thing was a bit like yeah for me exclusive mo coaster like out of all the things i i like this because i actually kind of understand it uh yeah set your mug on his unsightly mug to prevent Unsightly ring stains on your finest bar furniture. Everyone knows drinking glass stains are as annoying as prank callers asking to speak to Mike Roch. And then we have the exclusive Ripley and Big Chap Xenomorph Vinyl 2-pack. Again, something I'm not that interested in since I don't... I've never... I don't... I'm not a fan of the Alien series. They mostly come out at night, mostly. When Big Chap is on the prowl, you will have nothing to fear because you'll also have Ripley at your side. This collectible vinyl two-pack is exclusive to Nerd Block. Alright. Zombie Hunter Dog Tags. Whether you're actively training to defend yourself in the upcoming zombie apocalypse or if you've yet to begin, these dog tags will help you recognize other members of the human resistance to the undead. I might actually give that away as well since I can't really wear it because of my skin problem. I would wear it. I think it's cool. Like out of all the things here, I think that's the coolest. Uh, and then the Mo thing would be the next next thing that that's cool. And like last but not least, you have the shirt punch t-shirt, Peltzer's pets. They're such cute pets. Who would think 
something could go so horribly wrong simply because they eat after midnight. Be sure to check this shirt out in the dark to learn the trick. Love this shirt? Then check out shirtpunch.com for four new pop culture designs every day for $10 a pop. And that's that's the print uh, when it, it's in the dark. I think I'll show you guys what it's like in the dark then. Let's do it! I don't think- nope, nothing shows up. I don't think it got enough of the light. Uh, yeah, I'm not too... Like, you can see, hear it in my voice. I'm not too, like, happy about this. But, like, this is what you get when you buy a mystery box. And I already knew that I wouldn't like October because I don't like Halloween stuff in general. Ugh, I, I was wanting to uh, actually subscribe to this one, the sci-fi block. Uh, but they wouldn't allow switching for like the very first sci-fi block. Uh, I don't think I have the money to actually subscribe to to it yet. <sighs> uh, apparently, uh, we can expect uh, some Star Wars: The Force Awakens and a Sherlock exclusive in the next one. I think. Uh, yeah, and we're also getting a Firefly. I don't know what Firefly is, but I am a fan of Star Wars, obviously, and Sherlock, so I'm going to look forward to the next vlog. So I want to hear what you guys thought of uh, this month's merd, n n merd block. nerd block. Would you have enjoyed these uh, items, and uh, would you subscribe to nerd block in the future? Uh, I'm hoping that the next one will truly be better and that I will enjoy it a lot more. So anyway guys, thanks thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.